Welcome home. It's good to have you back physically. This video is meant to help you in the celebration of the Eucharist. Uh, we're so happy to be able to welcome you to your church. And we just wanted to show you a few little steps of how we'll be gathering. Please arrive 15 minutes before Mass. Park in the Mason parking lot. Lassen will be closed. At the Mason gate, two volunteers will greet you, check your temperature, and be sure you are wearing a face covering. You will be lined up, staying a safe distance from the person next to you. You will proceed to Grill Hall. On Sundays, two volunteers will check if you have registered during the week for one of the three Sunday Masses, 8.15 a.m., 11 a.m., and 2.15 p.m. There is no registration for weekday Masses, but once we have reached a total of 100 people, the doors of the church will be closed. Welcome to the third station. So here at the front of the church, the main doors will stay closed and then we have these doors over here that will be used for entrance and these doors over here will be used for exiting. And as you arrive to the third station, if you notice the floor is marked so we can maintain our six feet social distance. And when you arrive, there will be a volunteer wearing a mask and we will be offering hand sanitizer to use like so. And then you'll be able to go on inside to the next station. Once inside the church, volunteers will direct you to your seat. Throughout the mass, you are asked to stay in the same seat. You have a seat row and lettered seat to help remember when you go to communion. You are asked to keep your mask on throughout the liturgy, even while you are singing. If you need to go to the restroom or other special need, simply raise your hand and one of the ushers will assist you and help you to leave and get back into the church when the doors are closed. If you are sitting in a pew or chair that does not have a kneeler, you are asked to stay seated. During communion rite, ushers will assist you to proceed in one line from the center or north and south aisles of the church. We will, like usual, start from the back of the church and then move forward. Follow the markings on the floor to keep a safe six foot distance from the person in front of you. Everyone in a row or pew is asked to get up and go to receive either communion or a blessing. This will maintain a safe distance and not lead to crossing over the seat of another parishioner. Please keep your mask on during the procession to communion. The priest or Eucharistic minister will also be wearing a mask. When they approach, they will give you communion in the hand. Following directives of the Archbishop Gomez, because of the pandemic, there is no communion on the tongue, nor drinking the precious blood from the chalice. Once you have received communion in the hand, step to the side. With the other hand, remove your mask, consume the Eucharist, then place your mask back on. After placing your mask back on, you are to return through the side aisles to your seat. The presider will dismiss the community by pews through the back doors of the church. Baskets are provided at exit doors to receive donations After Mass, you are asked to go directly to your cars. This will allow us to clean the church in enough time before the next liturgy. Sister P, I am so happy and excited that we're finally opening our church. Me too. I think it's such a grace to be able to gather together in prayer and to receive deeply God's love into our hearts. Remember that we are praying for you. We're one family. Thank you for listening to us. I'm Claudia Corvera. I'm Sister Pia, and welcome back to St. John Hughes.